Good evening guys, this is Marvin from TechBureau.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy bureaus. <clears throat> and welcome to another chill stream. So in today's uh, in tonight's chill stream, we're gonna uh, modify the Rock Pira yet again with a few accessories from Hubquad. So we have a bunch of accessories right here, plates, foam, pads, um, other accessories here. So yeah, aside from that, we're gonna unbox some other products as well. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Alright, so le let me just introduce you the different parts that we're going to use for the modification of the Rock Pira. Alright, so first we have... We have a polycarbonate uh, plate right here. So, quite flexible. And then next we have EVA foam. So this is 2mm case foam, specifically tailored for the Rock Pira mechanical keyboard. And then we also have our um, PCB foam, uh, also EVA. And then we have our PE foam. There you go. We have another um, dampener, EVA foam dampener between the PCB and plate. And we have another... Um, foam plate here. So I think we're gonna use the foam plate for this uh, particular live stream because I'm a fan of uh, foam material. And aside from that, we also have some switch pads. We have some keycap uh, dampener right here. Maybe we can use some of this. Then we also have another pack of switch pad. This, this is like a spacer for the switch as well. And then we have uh, same switch uh, spacer right here with a couple of um, dampener for the space bar. So that's what we're going to do tonight. So first, what we're going to do is of course, we're going to tear down the Rock Pira Mechanical Keyboard. There you go. So uh, like I said earlier, this is already um, modified using um, lubed Rock Katala and then uh, modified stabilizers using the Micropore uh, Rock around the wire mod. Aside from that, uh, we didn't touch anything in, in terms of the, the foam and dampeners inside. So we're going to compare the stock configuration or the stock dampeners to the custom um, materials from Hubquad. Again, I'm just going to remove all the keycaps and uh, yeah. But before that, actually let's do a sound test first so that we can have a baseline before um, that we can compare later once we replace the parts, okay? Alright, so let's move on and um, tear, the, tear this keyboard apart. So again, the switches that I'm using for the this Rock Pira is the um, Rock Katala, already lubed. And the keycaps, if, you, if you're wondering, is the Ako Silent PBT keycaps. Alright, so now uh, that we've uh, removed the switches and the keycaps, we're gonna tear the keyboard apart. And it's actu actually quite tricky because it is connected or secured by um, some locks here which is made out of plastic so you have to be careful with that. So I used a flat head because my plastic pry tool is simply too soft for this one. Okay, so I take back what I said earlier. <laughs> Just be careful if you're going to do it on your own. Lilipad. Lilipad to ah. Boink. Binay. <laughs> Alright, so we've already uh, removed the top cover right here. Alright, so moving forward, let's just remove the the plate here. Alright, so we've already removed the, the screws. There we go. I guess we can also remove this. So this is the silicone dampener. Be careful because it is connected on the battery underneath. We have the bottom case here with a quite thin foam right here. So this is definitely 
um, different compared to what we're gonna replace it with. <laughs> Alright, so moving on, let's finally um, put this back together and replace the stock um, parts with uh, custom or aftermarket parts from Hubquad. So we're not gonna put the the case foam, which is this one, because as we tried uh, earlier, it won't fit and it will bulge. So this I will not put this anymore. And what I'm going to use instead is this one, so that we have some slots for the um, hot swap socket. So let's go. Let's do that here. There you go. So everything lines up correctly, as you can see. Let's put the connection back here. There you go. And then finally place it on top of our bottom case. Everything lines up properly. And then next, we're gonna put one layer of PE foam. Okay? Again, one layer of PE foam. One layer and one layer only. There you go. Next, let's put our plate foam right here. There you go, and we're gonna put our plate, which is pump plate. So I replaced the stock metal plate with pump plate, and I put the stabilizers back, as you can see here, as well as the space bar dampener. There you go. And then I'm going to secure this with a screw, just to make sure I won't forget it later. There you go. Everything's uh, lining up uh, pretty much better. And our top cover. Um, crossing fingers that this should be uh, fine. And it looks like it is. It's actually not bulging anymore. <laughs> Compared to earlier, it's not bulging anymore as you can see here. So we're gonna try to put the switches only without um, add additional screws. Just to uh, try our luck. So, yeah. Okay, all right, so I'm done installing the switches as you can see here So it's not bulging anymore and all the switches are properly intact Inside the uh, palm plate now we're gonna install the keycaps But first I think we're gonna put some foams underneath the keycap So we have our keycap um, foam right here So we're gonna put this foam underneath our keycaps we have labels on the foam so that you won't have any problems with um, putting it on the keycaps. Caps lock. There you have it guys, um, our build is finally finished. Let me just give you guys a quick breakdown so that you can have an idea what happened during the stream for those who don't have the time to watch the full live stream. So let's get into it. So right here we have the Rack Pira. So what we did is we changed, first we uh, removed the bottom case. All right, so the bottom case is right here. And uh, we actually tried um, putting the aftermarket bottom case right here or case foam however um we found out that it's way too thick uh, for the entire uh, build so we chose not to use the case foam and instead use the foam that is uh, underneath the pcb with holes for the hot swap socket the the next uh, that we did is we add 
a PE foam, single sheet PE foam right here. And then we uh, replace the silicone um, dampener with the, an EVA uh, foam dampener just to give you guys an idea how it will sound with a different um, uh, plate foam compared to the stock silicone foam. Aside from that, we also change the stock um, steel plate. This one is the stock steel plate or metal plate. We change that with a palm plate, which is uh, flexible and lighter. Aside from that, we added some keycap um, foam dampener underneath the keycaps, of course, just to give you guys an idea how it sounds and, of course, give you some observation how it feels as well. Aside from that, we also didn't put the screws back because I think it's not necessary anymore to put this back because it's already quite dense and tight. So yeah, so again, um, remove the case uh, foam, replace the plate foam, added a foam underneath the PCB, added uh, PE foam, and of course, change the steel plate to palm plate and added um, foam dampener underneath the keycaps. Aside from that, we, ha we still have the same um, rack, um, katala, lubed switches, as well as the ACO PBT um, keycaps and um, modded stabilizers with uh, the micropore or using the micropore uh, wrap around the, the wire mod method. Alright, so in terms of the sound, it's definitely uh, more muted co compared to before, but it still have the, the uh, clacky characteristic. And in terms of the feel, um, what I, uh, what I uh, can share with you is that the bottoming out feel is definitely um, shorter compared to the uh, without the the foam dampener underneath the keycap so definitely there's also a sort of um, a softer bottoming out feel it's not that harsh compared to the stock configuration so yeah definitely everything checks out just make sure that you either use this bottom case foam or the other foam and um, use a single sheet um, PA foam otherwise it will be uh, too tight for this particular keyboard so yeah there you have it that's a quick recap for our um, further modification of the rack pira mechanical keyboard and here's a bonus sound test comparing the rack pira and the wake of gas 67 There you go. So there you have it guys. Thank you for watching. If you want to watch the full live stream, you can check it out on my second channel. However, it is in our native Filipino language. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you like this and see you next time. Have a great day. You're awesome. Ayan. Okay na. May questions pa ba kayo about our modification? Um...